Hello YouTube's Grosama, and today I'm going to just go ahead and talk about some of the kits that I'm planning on uh, buying, as well as some of the kits I will be avoiding for the month of May. Um, now I really want to do this monthly series. Uh, I, I'm not really too interested in doing like new segments. Um, I know pretty much uh, Chan 2S, uh, Zach Aurelius, um, there's a couple other YouTubers that already cover like news based stuff. Uh, so for me, I just want to go ahead and talk about my personal interest on what I'm purchasing uh, month by month. So unless it's like a really big, big topic, uh, like a new anime getting announced or um, like a really, really good um, mobile suit that I've been like really, really uh, excited for, um, those are the only kind of reasons I would see myself actually going out and um, and making a video to discuss those uh, type of topics. Uh, but when it comes to just normal releases, you know how they had like the SD cross silhouette, uh, they announced like the uh, F91 2.0, a uh, couple other kits that I don't think I've really covered in any kind of segment. Um, I'm, I'm just not gonna do those. So with this, I will, I will just talk about all the kits I'm purchasing and avoiding in the month of May. So the first thing I wanna talk about is going to be the high grade, uh, I think it's the Build Custom Diver Ace unit. So I know they're gonna have um, kind of like the the mix box one, so you can get like both the double O uh, diver as well as uh, the ace unit together, and it's actually gonna have like the clear red piece for the um, for the crown, like the little center jewel. Um, but since I already have this, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the ace unit. Uh, now the ace unit is coming out on May 11th, uh, so that's you know about two weeks from now, uh, which you know kind of makes me happy because. Um, like I, I really didn't want to get anything this weekend because I want to go ahead and start knocking out uh, some of the backlog. So to my knowledge, there's no major um, kits coming out this upcoming weekend. Um, so this is just going to be a weekend that's kind of free for me, so that's good. Uh, but May 11th, this is going to be released, and all it's going to have is going to be the backpack, um, those two um, GN Diver Swords, uh, parts for the Super GN Sword 2, you're gonna get two pieces for that. You're also going to get the backpack and then the joint parts, uh, which I'm sure is for um, connecting the backpack uh, to the, maybe um, to a different unit. So if you wanna attach it to like the Strike Gundam or something, uh, you'll get that extra piece that can go ahead and attach to it. And then the price is going to be retailed at 756 yen, uh, so roughly about like seven bucks, um, you know, USD. So very, very affordable and a very cheap uh, pickup for me uh, that weekend. Okay, and the next kit that's going to be coming out uh, on May 11th as well. So I'll be picking this up uh, with the Diver Ace unit, but it's going to be the High Grade After Colony Leo. Uh, very, very basic looking kit. Um, it's honestly not gonna have much uh, to come with it. It's just gonna have uh, the nice little shield, uh, the machine gun, as well as a couple of beam sabers. Um, so I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm probably not picking up more than one. Now they come out with different units, like uh, maybe different um, kind of like accessories for it. Maybe there's like an extra flight pack, you know, like a custom build kind of um, set that comes out. I'll pick that up, but I'm not interested in picking up a whole bunch of them just to have a mass army. Um, I'm just not that kind of uh, builder so or collector, I should say. Um, so if they have different types of Leos, I'll do that, but I'm not going to be buying uh, multiples of these. Now um, it's coming out for uh, 1,080 yen. That's about 10 bucks, so ridiculously cheap. Um, my wife's gonna be especially happy because um, I know she doesn't like me spending too much money on Gunpla. Um, she, she pretty much try, tries to limit me to about $300 a month, um, so I'll, I'll be around that price tag uh, quite often, but um, you know, she'll be happy that I'm just gonna be spending uh, probably about like 20 bucks that weekend, so not really too bad. Okay, and the next kit that's going to be releasing in May, uh, there's no actual date uh, that I see so far, uh, but it's going to be the Master Grade 1100 Gundam F91 2.0. Uh, now I do have the 1.0, uh, I haven't built it, haven't, I haven't even like touched it before, like I don't really know many people that uh, has built that one or even the Harrison version. Um, but overall, like I heard nothing but positivity uh, from that kit. And I was really gonna um, paint mine as, uh, it was the red F91 from Gun and Build Fighters. I, I forgot what they named it. Um, but that was the one I was gonna go ahead and um, and paint it as. So I'm still gonna do that for, for um, the Master Grade 1.0, but for the 2.0, um, to be honest, I'm not really 
thinking about painting too much on there. I think I might just paint that um, that gold vent uh, piece. Uh, but other than that, the color separation looks amazing. I don't think it's gonna have that many stickers, um, you know, with it. So I really shouldn't have to do too much painting. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a very, very solid kit. And uh, it's gonna have that LED part uh, in the in um, inside the chest. Um, so it looks like it's gonna be really, really good. And I'm actually very excited to pick this up uh, come next month. So, uh, releasing in May, uh, it's going to be for 4,320 uh, 4, yen. So, that's kind of, that's kind of a, I guess, an average price. Um, I kind of would have expected it to be maybe just around, like, just, just 4,000 and not, like, a little bit over that. Um, but I guess it's probably going to have a lot of, uh, like, engineering into the, um, like, the face and uh, the body and everything. Uh, so I'm just kind of like curious to go ahead and actually build it and see uh, how it's going to be. But overall, I am definitely excited to go ahead and pick this up. Now it's just going to have like the basic weaponry uh, as the 1.0. I don't know what the base is going to be. If it's going to be that um, that like mobile armor from the movie. But uh, if it isn't, hey, if it's just a, a normal um, stand, then I'm all I'm all about that. Maybe I'll just get the uh, the 1.0 stand and give it to this one um, since the 1.0. I'm just doing the Bill Fighters um, colors. And then next we're getting the uh, the high grade 1144 uh, petite guy Kara guy Momo. No, I'm not picking this up. All right, the next we're gonna have the high grade build divers uh, 1144 Sarah V Gundam. Um, it's like I'm not I'm not German, so I, I'm just I'm gonna mispronounce it. So I'm just gonna call it Sarah V Gundam. I'm not even gonna get into that. Um, but this is coming out in May. Um, I'm actually looking forward to this because uh, I don't have any high grade uh, Cerevis in my collection. Uh, so I'm, I, hey, you know, I kind of get the best uh, best of both worlds. Get another double O uh, style kit, but I'm also getting something from the Build Diver series. Um, so far, I have been liking uh, the kits from uh, this new series. Now, um, it's going to be retailing for 2,376 yen. Um, that is a pretty high price for a high grade. Um, it, I mean, it's going to have a lot of different accessories, uh, so I, I do understand that price point. Um, yeah, that's just that's pretty steep. So uh, no exact date on uh, when this is coming out, just sometime in May. So I'm thinking it's going to be after the 11th because uh, if Gundam kits are already getting like the 11th kind of you know dates on them, um, normally we probably got something before that, like this upcoming weekend. Um, so. A, if it's gonna be like somewhere uh, maybe in the 20s, I'm, I'm all about it. Um, but it could be like May, uh, what May 19th. So if it's May 19th, and I'm cool with that, I'll pick it up then. Um, so it doesn't look too bad. It's gonna have like the uh, the physical bazookas. It's gonna have those uh, container like beam cannon things. Uh, those extra like G and drives uh, for the feet. So it looks pretty good, um, and it still says a gimmick that I haven't seen yet. Um, I'm kind of just looking on the uh, the website, so I'm kind of wondering what else it's gonna have. Um, but overall, it does look like a really good kit, and I'm pretty excited to go ahead and pick it up. All right, next we're gonna have the Hollow Hollowella. I think that's how I pronounce it. Hollowella Momo Hello. This is the the Haro that uh, Momo was uh, whenever she was a guest in the um, the GBN. So I'm not getting this, guys. I'm I'm sorry. It's coming out in May, 648 yen. If you want it, go ahead and pick it up. I'm not getting it. And here we're getting the Tilt Rotor Pack. Uh, I'm actually very very excited for this because um, I think it looks I think it looks really really awesome, uh, especially when it's going to be um, in, in, like combined with. Um, the Grimmore. So overall, I'm I'm very very hyped for it. Uh, I'm hoping it comes out very very soon and not like later in the month. I would rather get like, you know, if I can get it this weekend, that'd be fantastic. But if not this weekend, then uh, I'll go ahead and pick it up uh, whenever it does get released. So obviously, it's just gonna have uh, oh, it's gonna have the chainsaw weapons. I didn't even realize that. I'm actually hoping that kind of has a, a really significant appearance in the uh, the anime because you see it in the opening, uh, but I didn't realize it's actually going to come with the chainsaws. Uh, so you get the chainsaws, the missile pods for the shoulders, and then the um, pretty much the main body of it. It looks like it's going to have uh, two little cannons. Um, they might be kind of in conjunction with the uh, the chainsaw weapons, but overall it looks like it's going to be a, a great little um, addition to the Grimoire. So I'm very very excited to get that. Uh, it's going to be uh, releasing for 864 yen, uh, so that's a pretty average price. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very much um, reasonable with that. 
Okay, next is gonna be the high grade build divers Ogre GNX. Um, so at first I was not picking this up uh, because I just I, I wasn't feeling it. Uh, I like the Titus, uh, but the Jings I'm not really too interested in. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm just skipping this. Uh, but then I saw it in the anime, and I was like, you know what, it doesn't really look too bad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get it because I think it, it does look fairly good. Um, and plus it'd be a great addition to have with uh, the Double O Diver. Um, so overall, I think it looks fine. Uh, it's coming out in May. Uh, price tag is gonna be uh, 2,160 yen. So definitely up there in the range, but I think it's gonna be a fairly big kit. I don't, I don't, I think it's gonna be just like a little bit taller um, than the Double O Diver. Probably actually around the uh, the size of this guy. So I think maybe the uh, the price tag is justified. However, it doesn't come. It doesn't look like it comes with a lot of accessories outside of some of the. Um, Maybe the little, the little beam effects on it, as well as the uh, the two swords, but that's not really a lot of accessories. Um, kind of, I mean, it didn't really show anything else in the anime, so I mean, I guess understandable. But damn, that's such that's a pretty high price point. I was I was kind of expecting this maybe a, a more around eighteen hundred or uh, nineteen hundred yen. But overall, hey, it looks good. Um, it's probably just gonna uh, I think it's gonna have quite a few stickers on it because I'm looking at like the chest, the eyes. Um, Maybe some random parts on the arms. Uh, I don't think anything on the legs is gonna have any stickers. Um, so actually, it might be a reasonable amount of stickers. Oh, maybe the black for the vents. Um, but overall, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good kit. And um, hopefully, I'm hoping this is actually gonna be at the end of, end of the month. I'm not really too eager to build it right now, but um, if it's at the end of May, I'm fine with that. Okay, and the last kit, um, pretty much that's gonna be at retail. Uh, that's coming out in May is going to be the high grade build divers 1144 Momo Kapool. Um, I've already mentioned I'm not picking this up. I'm, I'm not interested in this thing at all. Um, and it's going to have that little gimmick to where uh, I guess a little mini Kapool is inside. Um, so if you like that, hey, by all means, but this is just like a new um, bear guy kind of set. So I'm not interested in the bear guys. I'm not interested in the Kapools. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not saying I, I don't like kind of goofy looking mobile suits because I mean, I got the Grimoire and I think that's uh, fairly goofy or at least one of the goofiest things in my collection. Um, but I'm just, I'm, I just don't like the Kapool. Uh, but it's coming out in May. Uh, it's going to be 1,944 yen. I think that's pretty steep. I, I don't think this is a big kit at all. I think it's gonna be fairly small, but hey, that's that's y'all. If y'all want it, uh, definitely go ahead and uh, pick it up. Uh, probably it's probably gonna be at the end of May because it hasn't even appeared in the anime. So I'm definitely expecting this to be at the end of May. But that's it for me, guys. Um, I, I didn't want to talk about any of the P Bandai stuff because um, I'm not I'm not the kind of guy that's gonna be pre-ordering anything on the P Bandai scale. Uh, now if I do happen to go out and I, I see a P Bandai kit that has come out in May, uh, just kind of somewhere in the stores, uh, then I'll go ahead and pick it up. But uh, for the most part, I'm not going out there and uh, pre-ordering any of these um, P Bandai things. Um, but that's it for me, guys. Uh, if you do like me kind of covering some stuff that's coming out uh, month by month, uh, then let me know in the comments below, and also let me know what kits are you, you know, you're kind of most excited for uh, for the month of May. If you're pre-ordering anything, or you're just gonna gonna uh, gonna go ahead and. Uh, wait for it to actually get released later and then you know pick it up sometime in the future uh, Definitely let me know in the comments of what y'all think but other than that guys uh, definitely thanks for watching and I'll be seeing y'all uh, in these in this next segment uh, come the end of May We'll talk about some of the things for June, but I'll see y'all guys later. Take care and bye-bye